So it's hard to believe, but our final sessions have ended. We have lots of exciting things ahead of us, including a little surprise to come. Uh, but first, I want to bring out Anna Goel, the managing editor at DevX, my colleague, Hello. to just talk a little bit about what we learned today. <laughs> hey, Anna. Hello, hello, everyone. This Hi, is Raj. Your first DevX World. It is my first DevX World. I am coming up on all of three months here, so it has been quite a whirlwind. Um, it has been quite a day, a lot of learning. Um, I learned that a lot of people like coming to DevX World, and I can nice. certainly, certainly see why. Um, yeah, you know, it didn't come as any surprise to me of you know, how knowledgeable all of the speakers are, knowing their fields inside out. I think what stood out for me was the passion and optimism in spite of the daily unfortunate headlines that, that we're all over overwhelmed with. Um, but it wasn't just about passion, it was talking about the tangible impact on the ground. So um, for instance, uh, Anshu Gupta, who runs one of the largest NGOs in India, and, you know, he's talking about, obviously, the, the NGO specializes in various programs, relief, disaster, aid, but it also takes on taboo topics, such as menstrual hygiene. And I think it falls under this guiding principle of that development is about the recipient's dignity and not the donor's pride. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that really resonated because so much of what we're talking about and exploring is localization and the need to empower local actors. So. So that really resonated. That's a um, fantastic insight. And yeah. I wonder, as you think about our pipeline of news stories we will be covering, because of course DevX World is an important event for us, but we have an active newsroom that Anna leads, writing stories every day, newsletters and the rest. What are some of the themes that our audience here can look forward to? What are some stories that DevX might be writing? I think it's about trying to get behind the scenes of what we've talked about is these overlapping crises. I mean, we've talked often about conflict and climate change, but now we've got pandemic, fuel, inflation, debt, food, which might overtake a still raging pandemic in the developing world. So it's about kind of going behind the headlines and looking at how institutions and development organizations will adapt, evolve, and, and taking a critical eye to where they're going to be, where they are falling short. So one of the things we've tried to emphasize today, if you've missed it, it's not for lack of our trying, is that all of you should subscribe to DevX Pro, yeah. which is our premium news subscription that we put a lot of time and effort and energy into. Maybe you can just say a word about DevX Pro and what people who subscribe to that get. Why is it worth doing it? Well, you, first of all, you always get a wide range of news articles, but DevX Pro really goes into this in-depth analysis, and it's really key for anyone who is a business development professional to get those kind of key insights, to know who's who, who's doing what in the industry, and of course for the funding information. These are key details to keep your organization going. So you will be seeing some communication from us soon on this. If you are one of the few who have not signed up for DevX Pro, use this as your opportunity yes. to do that. I also wanted to use this chance to mention the calendar of events we have coming up beyond DevX World, our flagship event. Yep. Give us a sense, Anna, of what are some of the things that people can look forward to? So we have a lot coming up. I can't believe it's already July. We will be at UNGA in September. We have the Future of Development Finance in October. And that's COP. in London. Yes, uh, COP in Egypt in November. And then going right into the new year, Prescription for Progress. And many more. And many more. Sure. Our coverage that will keep Davos, our, our January. very good events team there, busy. <laughs> there is lots to do. Our small but mighty newsroom is at all of these events, and we welcome you to join us at the many side events and dinners and conferences like this one that, that we host, none of which would be possible without our incredible sponsors. And I want to thank them again. Uh, and we will get a chance, hopefully, to thank them in person and all of you at the reception, uh, which, is, which is coming up soon. But before we go, I want to welcome back the person who leads our coverage at these big moments, these big conferences that we host, Kate Warren, our executive editor.